So I did a little poll on uh, Twitter uh, asking uh, Bitcoin Cash is um, again um, uh, hitting that uh, low of 200 US dollars right now. Um, they call it retesting the low, but of course it could break. But uh, the poll on Twitter is running now um, and uh, the question is uh, are there any takers now that it's retesting the low of 200? There are four possible answers. Uh, nah, I'll pass is the first one. Second one is yep, I bought some. The third option is um, I'm doubting. Uh, and the fourth option is I'm loaded already. Um, uh, and um, the first uh, results are in. Um, um, but uh, I will let you know the results in when I end this video. Um, and um, a very interesting question here is um, that I got from several people and also advice not to do the crazy things that I'm about to do is to go all in on crypto uh, and uh, and I got some very good questions about that like um, like aren't you afraid eh, that you will be losing everything if it fails uh, and and if you have a lot of money shouldn't you be uh, investing some uh, in safe investments that guarantee an income or that are some kind of backup in case things go wrong um, and, and I think these are very good questions also uh, if you approach it from a, a, a risk reward perspective <clears throat> like okay even the risk reward may be very very good indeed but of course there's always a low chance that it fails and, and what are you gonna do then also like uh, are you working now um, so are you planning to go back to work then if it would fail eh, because you you'd be losing all your money eh? uh, so yeah the answer to those questions is that um, I'm not working in I don't have like a job or uh, a company that I'm running no eh? um, you could say I'm retired and I only uh, invest um, but um, and that's true uh, and so if I lose my money well I will have to go make some money in a different way uh, and that's very true so why would I risk such a good life um, and, and the answer to that question is that uh, I have this good life thanks to uh, taking huge risks in the past uh, and um, uh, but but I think risk is, is a very subjective uh, thing um, uh, like um, is there a lot of risk uh, uh, Usually, what you will find is that uh, what others perceive as very high risk, um, if you really study it, actually is a very, very low risk. Um, and, and what others perceive, or the general market perceives as very, very low risk, if you study it deeper, it's actually a very high risk or an extremely bad um, um, deal, uh, like uh, uh, with a, a negative risk reward ratio uh, or a negative returns. Uh, so, so but so, so I think the most uh, important answer to the question here is is that I have also been had a lot of fear in the past and and I understand where these questions are coming from uh, and I and I've lived this way too I'm very afraid to lose my money and um, uh, um, but <clears throat> that has held me back a lot um, it, it basically led uh, to extremely poor investment decisions where I would actually sell uh, on a uh, on a on a low uh, scared to risk more or not dare to take any positions when the market just went down a lot just scared of ris risking uh, losing more um, and I think that um, and it's true that very, very many very smart people uh, will will really uh, advise you to never uh, bet the house. Uh, or um, uh, and 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 uh, for example, I was just watching a video from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, and he says that um, in his company the secret to success for him has been that they have always experimented a lot with a lot of different business ideas and many many fail all the time but then some succeed and, and make the and, and build the company into a big success uh, and, and so um, 
uh, he really says like it's extremely important to 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 take ch your chances to risk to try new things and to be willing to lose your money to be willing to lose billions on failed experiments that's that's how he said it that he has lost many many billions uh, to failed experiments but that's the secret to his su success actually but he says uh, never to uh, gamble the company uh, yeah, so 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 here again a great advice eh? and, and I'm not recommending anyone to go all in on crypto here I'm just sharing what I do eh? um, but why, why am I so convinced uh, to do this and why do I think that I'm not acting like a fool uh, and why am I okay um, to lose it all um, well, in the end, that's indeed the, the question you need to answer. Are you willing to lose it all if you're going to play like this, invest like this? You do have to have a decent answer to that. And for me, I made that answer before I started really investing big on crypto. Um, that was um, in 2013. I invested only 10% in, or was it 10? Yeah, only 10% to crypto in 2012 and Bitcoin was $10. Why did I do that? Because I thought like... Um, that was um, uh, appropriate allocation because it's an, it was an extremely high risk investment at the time and, and and so okay can have high returns most people were recommending to invest only like one percent uh, or the money that you can afford to lose which is usually like one percent or less for most investors uh, uh, but i was saying like no no come i really have to invest something here uh, so i did ten percent uh, but at the same time, I was uh, uh, deciding to invest 40 or uh, uh, actually 40% into gold and gold mining stocks, which has a, a much worse risk reward ratio. Huh? And um, and um, um, even uh, the permanent portfolio, 50%, the largest allocation, which was uh, which 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 makes almost no money at all. Huh? Uh, but you're pretty sure to not lose any money neither. But but um, what I learned from that was that actually I should not invest in such a way. Uh, this is very typical to the traditional investors who, oh, great investment, L let's put a little bit of money into that. And if it works out, we'll do well. But most of it we will put in like <laughs> things like real estate or bonds or uh, stock market indexes, which all of which just go up with uh, inflation. Eh? They don't mean really make money. Uh, so basically all that capital is in, 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 in very poor risk reward ratio investments allocated and um, um, what's the mistake here? The mistake is that it is not, it's just scientifically uh, proven uh, with the Kelly criterion that this is not the way to optimize your profits. If you are want to make profit with investing, you should actually not invest this way at all, you should invest by allocating the highest amount to the best risk reward ratio investment so in that in in this case here uh, even though bitcoin was a very high risk the potential reward was extremely high i knew that at the time um, and so the risk reward ratio was a lot better than my gold and gold mining stocks and sh I should have therefore allocated more to this um uh, to bitcoin than to gold and gold mining stocks huh? And, uh, and, and, and but gold and gold mining stocks were actually a better risk reward ratio than um, at least in my opinion at the time which was wrong uh, than uh, the permanent portfolio and so I should have allocated more to that than to a diversified portfolio of course you make sometimes mistakes in these estimations of risk reward ratio and actually in uh, in 2012 uh, there is uh, 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 we just had a bubble uh, in gold that w went from 2000 to 2011. So we were just starting the bear market there. The risk reward ratio of gold and gold mining stocks was not um, was not as good as a permanent portfolio. And so I should have allocated less. But if I would all allocate it that way, I would allocate it more than because uh, I made just a, a judgment uh, mistake there. But um, but uh, so so I, I corrected all these mistakes uh, in 2013. So after my 10% allocation in Bitcoin went up a lot, um, then I um, um, uh, and studied more investing. Uh, I realized that uh, I made that mistake of allocating too little. So when the bear market happened in 2014, then I, I, I corrected that mistake by investing 80% in crypto uh, and only 20% in other investments. 
uh, and I was at the, at the true at the true of the bear market when it really dropped to two hundred dollars. But I had been building it up quite high to seventy percent, and then at the last step was to eighty percent. Uh, when it had dropped then to 160 dollars and then recovered to 200 dollars, so that was as far as I dared to go. Uh, but I thought it was actually a rational thing to do at that point in time in the market. Uh, it was just a, a bear market in crypto. Uh, Bitcoin was still doing very very well. There were no problems in the Bitcoin community or no transaction fees, uh, rising transaction fees or anything. But there were actually already real problems in adoption, which I realized then when I was doing some research. For example, I want to pay with Bitcoin then, uh, when I was like really studying the market in 2014, and I couldn't find a single place in the whole of Amsterdam to pay with Bitcoin. And that's still the same today, huh? in 2018, five years later. Um, uh, so, 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 so it was failing as a, as a payment mechanism, Bitcoin at the time, even without um, uh, high transaction fees. And uh, BitPay, for example, was really having a very, very hard time. Uh, all these merchants that they signed up um, pff, did not have any turnover of people paying with Bitcoin. Of course, only during the bull market of 2013, people paid so, uh, some with Bitcoin. But the moment the bear market starts, that just completely dried up. And so I realized that as a payment mechanism, Bitcoin was not doing well, um, but uh, of course it still had characteristics uh, and crypto in general uh, still had characteristics um, because at the time I was already investing heavily in NXT and other coins uh, than Bitcoin. But I just realized still that even though as a payment mechanism is nearly not taking off in 2014, it's still like an amazing innovation uh, this crypto space this, and, and, and it will continue to grow simply because now people can finally hold uh, their own money themselves um, uh, without banks uh, they can hold a currency that is not inflating away by governments this is extremely valuable huh? um, uh, that's just that that's just like profit um, that's just like value uh, and that will go up over time people will value that more and more um, uh, and what else <laughs> that you can send it eh? instantly you can not only store it and own it in privacy if you want uh, without uh, the banks and governments knowing about it you can also send it to other people uh, in privacy and anywhere in the world eh? and this is just so much better than the banking system it's just international transfers are, are, are very uh, expensive, slow, and complicated. So, so this is just an innovation that's here to stay, and that convinced me to go 80% into crypto, even though um, uh, the market was certainly um, freaked out, and, uh, and there were certainly already some red flags when it comes to adoption. Um, but now we're here today, and um, and um, and now I want to go 100% uh, into crypto. Why? And is that justified? Um, I think it is. Um, I think it's comparable to a um, if you start a company and you don't have much money. Uh, well, it is a very wise decision to go all in. Um, meaning, uh, all your savings, all your energy, all your time, um, all your relationships you use to build your company and indeed it can fail in the end uh, and so you can ha lose all your savings all your uh, years of time and 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 probably some relationships uh, to that failure uh, but um but it's the right approach to take in life if you want to make it big huh? um people some uh, some sometimes respond uh, by saying wow that's very bold huh? uh, to, uh, to 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 risk it all in crypto uh, but as they say fortune favors the bold is an expression uh, and i believe that to be true um, uh, but and also for example you look at amazon um, yes, now he's saying, Jeff Bezos, that they don't bet the company on new projects. That's true. But how did he start Amazon? What did he choose to do at first? Probably he bet it all also on a certain idea, which was selling books and only books. And that was just the first idea. And he bet it all on that, probably, um, because uh, he even... Uh, 
he didn't have enough money to build the company. I really had to look for a, a, a lot of investors and, and in the end found them to finance it all. But I'm guessing he put his own savings also all into it and uh, in all his time and energy and all on one ID too. Huh? Uh, so the same with Bill Gates uh, um, that um, or Steve Jobs that all um, really like okay Bill Gates he was from a rich uh, background so he didn't invest the whole uh, the family fortune into it no but he probably invested all his own savings which was almost probably not much when he was so young uh, but all his time energy and even gave up his uh, Harvard uh, uh, degree um, uh, to to make it happen and then when he never sold any shares uh, only like after 10 20 years he started selling shares um, uh, so he was a hodler mm -hmm. uh, the same with Steve Jobs who um, um, sold all his shares when he was kicked out of the company uh, and invested all in, uh, in, in some other projects that did well and then when he came back uh, I don't know what he did then but um, he always had a very concentrated position also um, so mm -hmm. Diversification you can do uh, at a stage where um, you are not really that busy anymore with the project or you don't believe that much anymore in it, as Bill Gates uh, has started doing it. Microsoft uh, diversifying strongly, but only after 20, 30 years, and now he almost has no Microsoft stock anymore. Um, has been selling for 20 years everyday stocks. Uh, so, so this is a strategy you can do, uh, but you will only do that if... if he has to do it because the, the Microsoft was taken over by his friend Steve Ballmer who really was fucking up for 10 years in a row. What can you do? You can only sell your shares then. Um, uh, so, um, it's very smart to cash out but not in the early stages, only at the later stages. And for example, for me a project like Bitcoin Cash is a very early stage project. Um, this is not big yet. Uh, even though it's already worth uh, 3 billion um, the cryptocurrency space is now worth 150 billion this is nothing huh? and it will very 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 likely uh, cryptocurrency space will very very likely become bigger than the fiat uh, currencies in our lifetime over the next 10-20 years uh, for the same fundamental reasons that I mentioned that were already there in 2013 but it just becomes better because today it's not just about currency anymore it's about assets also uh, ICOs, um, people say uh, regulators will clamp, de destroy that, but that's not going to happen. Uh, this really opened up uh, the, the totally uh, fucked up uh, market of uh, startups where you can't raise money uh, in public. Um, you can't. Uh, so you have all these kinds of strong regulations that make it impossible for a startup to uh, raise money. Uh, from uh, the common man. Uh, you can only raise from uh, rich people. Eh? So they have this kind of uh, regulations really um, make the market uh, very difficult. And everybody is actually breaking laws when they make startups and they, they, they receive money from family or friends. Uh, uh, if you look into it, most countries you're breaking laws right there. So uh, the laws are just a, a total mess and, and it needed really to open up and it has been broken up. Uh, in this new uh, sector and that's what new sectors do they really uh, break up uh, the old stuff and, and a lot of regulations um, just drop to the floor uh, that, that come with the old world and this is what's happening here too so um, <coughs> uh, cryptocurrencies has become much more than just currency uh, today it's also about uh, raising money uh, assets huh? um, we're gonna see much more of that but um, so, uh, another point here is that uh, uh, what, what, something that I um, really said to myself when I started to invest like 80% in crypto in the, in the last bear market was that I realized that, okay, if this goes wrong, <laughs> I will lose a lot of money and, 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 and I actually cannot really live as an investor anymore and I will have to go work. And um, that's true. Uh, and, uh, and that's what I would have done if that would have happened. Uh, I think that um, actually uh, there is a lot of possibility. Like, I wouldn't go work in a company anymore. I'm too, uh, too uh, 
I have grown too wise for that. Uh, what I would do is start a company and raise money from investors. Um, and there is always money to be found uh, to, for any kind of idea, but you have to be able to sell it, uh, and I can do that. Uh, so that would be my backup plan. And I may have, I may actually turn out to be even more successful that way. Uh, uh, so, so, so that's how life goes. Huh? It's like with relationships, you have a great relationship, but it, it turns out it goes uh, uh, wrong, and that's painful. But it does make it possible for you to find a new relationship that probably will be better. Uh, so, so I think you you really need to also have, and that's what great entrepreneurs also have, is a lot of self confidence that if it fails, you will get back up and you will fight uh, for a good life and uh, and make the best of the things that are uh, uh, in front of you. And um, um, this also helps a lot uh, to allocate big, eh, to go big into something. Mm. And also, like, I have to say something about working, like, um, it, like, many investors have this idea that the ideal life is that, um, well, you make enough money so that you don't have to work anymore, um, but what, what they actually mean is you don't have to work anymore for someone else, huh? uh, because that can really suck if you work for assholes or bitches, that's just a hell of, that's, that's not a good life. So, so that's the kind of freedom they want, but freedom from work does not exist. Huh? Uh, uh, once you really become a self, I become an investor or start a business, um, you're always busy with that in your head, and uh, much more so than uh, when you have a paid job. Um, that uh, that's actually um, that's actually being on a paid retirement because you don't have to use your brains much there. You can uh, do a lot of uh, the actual work you do there is actually a lot less, uh, and so that's the reality of things. That actually I do am uh, I, I I do uh, am very very active uh, in what I do and. Um, and, uh, and and so if this would fail, uh, I will continue to be very active in another um, yeah in another role, um, starting a company probably then. So so I think that's important too um, that you have yeah just self confidence uh, that you can do other stuff too if you fail. And then of course I mentioned in the previous video also like this is not a static thing. It's not not it's not like a poker game where yes you should never bet uh, everything on a certain um, uh, cards. Even if your cards are very good, the other guy <laughs> can still beat you, lose everything, and it's over. Uh, it doesn't work that way when you are an investor or you build a company. Actually, um, um, you can. Um, Every day, uh, reevaluate uh, the situation, and you can always decide to stop and take out as much as possible um, before you lose it all. Uh, you can't do that at the poker table. Um, yeah, you can fold, uh, and that way um, avoid losing everything. When you are an investor, for me in Bitcoin Cash, for example, let's say it goes really wrong, one bad thing after another, uh, there is a moment where I can really decide. That I have to sell everything, and that's of course very painful. But I will still have something left to do something new, huh? or to live, to pay for my living expenses at least for some while, uh, while I'm transferring to, into something new. Uh, and it's the same when you do a, a startup company. Uh, you, you can also like, uh, even when you go all in, usually you also have some hedges. Also, the way you can hedge yourself also is by helping other people. Uh, this is the oldest way of building social security, uh, is to help other people. And uh, if you get in trouble in life, they will help you back. Um, so yeah, all, all these things um, help me in, 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 in taking this step uh, to go uh, full retard, uh, full uh, all in into uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, which I'm still planning to do. And um, uh, but what I'm, I think I will do is um, uh, is, uh, is 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 set new buy orders at half the price, maybe uh, around 100 US dollars, uh, between 150 and 100 US dollars. Uh, just in case I'm wrong, I think we we do see the bottom here, 
145, 140 billion now is the total market cap, or even 138 billion, and it is 248 billion is um, the market cap of, uh, of the trend line, is where the fair value is right now of cryptos. So that's an undervaluation of minus 45%. And, um, and yeah, I do think, uh, like seeing at previous bear markets, uh, these kind of undervaluations, uh, when you suddenly get these, uh, uh, have been the lows then. Uh, so that's why I still think uh, it is, uh, it is, this could certainly be the low. I still think that. Um, so, so, but uh, I think that the remaining 30% uh, of my capital, I will not invest at these prices. What I will do is I will set them lower uh, and hope they get filled. That would be very good for me. Uh, but if they don't get filled, buy this, uh, use this fiat to buy at higher prices in one or two years when we, when we really also see this 80% uh, or even 85% undervaluation uh, compared to the trend line, which is extremely likely to happen, but it will be probably uh, then fiat prices will be higher, uh, but it will still be an amazing time to invest uh, fiat into the crypto market uh, after the sideways movement has completed. So this is my plan uh, as to indeed uh, have a, I built a little bit more security for my portfolio, uh, not invest this fiat yet, uh, but actually I will set it in buy orders and it will be filled uh, if, if Bitcoin Cash uh, drops again by 50%, because that would mean a collapse of 97%. And I do think like that becomes extremely likely that that's the low. Uh, like the, for me, that's like 90% chance this is the low uh, for Bitcoin Cash. Um, but right now, actually, I'm, I'm certainly also at 80%, but I would bring it then to 95% or something. Yeah. So, uh, voila, let's check the results of the poll just to see what my common, my followers are d uh, doing. Huh? All right, we have it here. Huh? At 83, 83 people voted, uh, retesting the lows for BCH now at $200, any takers? And 70% um, uh, says, nah, uh, I'll pass. 70, uh, 7%, 10 times less, says, yup, I bought some. 17% uh, uh, says that they are doubting and 6% says that they already are loaded. So that means that from my followers who have been getting Bitcoin cash propaganda for, uh, two, for two years now since, this, since the fees have started to go up, uh, I have been bitching and whining about uh, the mismanagement of Bitcoin Core. Uh, so, 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 so for two years or three years now, and even then, even then, less than seven, uh, ten percent, only seven percent has decided to buy some at current prices. Huh? Uh, and the majority, the, fo the big majority of my followers also is deciding not to buy any, uh, seventy percent, and then you have twenty percent that's doubting to buy. Huh? But yeah, doubting does not count. Huh? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, I think this is just another confirmation that uh, that uh, very very few people are buying right now, uh, and uh, and the market has really changed uh, totally, uh, and, uh, and 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 this is typical for uh, the bottom. Uh, that um, well, that's where um, the whales are born, uh, and um, that's where a few people, uh, only a few people, are willing to invest big. Uh, uh, and then you have a very small amount of people that are in, willing to invest some, huh? but the, the big majority is not willing to invest. So I think we're here now. Thanks for watching. Bye.